This animation focuses on how the body normally breaks down and uses food and explores how the body maintains a healthy level of glucose, the simple sugar used for energy. There are several types of nutrients. We will focus on how the body digests one type, called carbohydrates, as this most directly affects glucose levels. Carbohydrates are made up of long chains of sugars. After you swallow food, it travels into the throat and down the esophagus and into the stomach. Carbohydrates in the food are broken down into smaller chains of sugars and eventually into glucose, the main energy source used by the body. Enzymes are biological molecules or proteins that help complex reactions occur everywhere in life. Enzymes like alpha-glucosidase, are responsible for the breakdown of carbohydrates into smaller chains of sugars. These sugars travel to the intestines where they are absorbed into the blood. Hormones such as GLP-1 and amylin are released by the intestines and help to slow food leaving the stomach. These hormones also act on the brain, causing it to slow food leaving the stomach and all around creating a feeling of fullness. In the pancreas, there are groups of cells called islets. Beta cells, which produce insulin, are a type of cell within the islets. Glucose from digested food and the gut hormone GLP-1 both stimulate beta cells to release more insulin into the bloodstream when food is eaten. Most cells in the body, including muscle and fat cells, need insulin to bind to cells before glucose can enter the cell and be used for energy. Glucose entry allows these cells to function and also lowers glucose levels in the bloodstream. Since most cells in the body need glucose for energy, it's important for the body to maintain steady glucose levels in the blood. The liver helps maintain blood glucose levels by storing glucose when insulin is present. When you are fasting or not eating food for long periods of time, less insulin is present and the liver releases stored glucose into the blood. The kidneys help filter toxins from the blood and excrete them into the urine. The kidneys also filter out some glucose, but the body is able to reabsorb that glucose through protein transport channels on the surface lining of the kidney so that the glucose is not lost in the urine.